Well, I've always been a, co a company actor, really, basically, because uh, I grew up in Montreal with Chris Plummer and the, all those people, and I knew then that I wasn't going to be a star star. So I, I just decided I'd be very good. It was John Hausman who brought me here in the first place from Stratford, Ontario. Tyrone Guthrie took me to England, where I worked for what was then the Shakespeare Memorial Theatre in Stratford on Avon. And then I came back to Stratford, Connecticut, uh, Ontario. And John brought me to Connecticut, which is when I met Bernie. One of the things about a classical actor is that you played in rep. And playing in rep means, which is one of the wonderful things that happened to everybody who was in Utopia, like Ethan, like um, Billy Crudup. When you suddenly have two parts, or three parts in that case, uh, successively on a, on a night's basis, you can prepare it, each part, for itself. Whereas if you're just playing one part, particularly in a modern play, you have to prepare yourself. You wish to be recognizably yourself. And like a, in a film, where in fact you're dealing, you're always concerned with how do I react to this thing. Whereas in rep, you want to be different. So you want to concentrate on what is idiosyncratic to each role and the differences between them, and you play that. But education for women! Yes! <laughs> Indeed! Not and so piano. you tend to give fuller performances also because you're not trying to show everything that you can do. His Imperial yes, Majesty has I'm, ordering... I'm not going. You mean you are humbly requesting a delay? Because they can come back tomorrow night and see that, that wonderful farce that you do. And you can be really tragic. So that's the fun of plays like The Rivals. I've done it before. I mean, I've played the juvenile. It's great fun when you suddenly say, Sir Anthony, wow. I remember what I wanted from him when I was Bob Akers. So I give it to him. Or if not smiling, more sweetly pouting, more lovely in sullenness. <laughs> That's she indeed. Well done, old gentleman. Hey, Jack on the neck. Oh, Jack, Jack! <laughs> the, the, the first one, I mean, I had the first line. Uh, speaking of which, I mean, very few people other than Chekhov or, or Tom Stoppard will open a, a play with a line like that. And you think, oh, what fun. And so you think, well, how does it got to be said? And one thinks, well, it's got to be... <laughs> so this is a character who does that. And also the character is the patriarch of the family and a strong, decisive man. So... It's spitty shouty, it's wonderful. I like that. I tend to do that. So that one was all about exuberance and the wonderful last scene where he dies, basically. And of course, in that play, I did in fact die on stage <laughs> when I had the wonderful with, with my, my, my children, Ethan Hawke and, and uh, Martha Plimpton, having a row with them. And I said one, of the, I think it was the third or the second preview. And I said to, to them, I had a row about them, and I said, this is my last word. And I took two steps towards the wings, one, two, and crashed like a tree in the forest. And Ethan has always been grateful to me because he had the opportunity to say the, the immortal line, is there a doctor in the house? And I said to him afterwards, are you kidding? In the Upper West Side of New York City, is there a doctor in the house? Of course there's a doctor in the house. <laughs> I had the most extraordinary decade, in fact, because... I had all this wonderful uh, Tony for, for them in the beginning of the decade and the um, Hall of Fame in, at the end of it, plus the heart attack on stage, plus cancer discovered while I was in recovering from the heart attack. Bernie and Andre postponed the opening of Utopia so that I could come back. But when I was having radiation and chemo for, for, the, for the cancer late, late on, it was wonderful because I was going to the hospital up here where I'd had my heart attack, five minutes walk from my house, and I would arrive at eight o'clock in the morning and the, the, the room would be full of uh, people, old, old people like me who were just sitting there being ill. And I was saying, excuse me, I've got a show tonight. Do you mind getting on with this because I've got to get out of here? 